Can I help you? Doesn't she remind you of Goody Perkins? Hi, old lady. Well, she seems fine. We should look in on her. They never learn, do they? Run, Red! I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Trust me, you don't want a garden. This looks like the captain's cabin. Frozen in time.
The ship's captain was married to Goody Perkins. That must be why her ghost lingers here. They must have had a house. Can't be far, if it still stands. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. The years seem to have spared this place. How strange. Reminds me of old Bareen. I went there once. Sat on the quay with my mum and my sister was eating cod and watching the boats. My father took me fishing. I too would watch the great ships come and go. I'd get restless. He'd give me the squid he'd grilled for his hand lines. I miss him. House by the sea. Hepzibah's house. A lonely place for an old woman alone. Not here. Where did I put that stupid key? Good day. What? Oh. Who are you? I don't know you, do I? Didn't we meet her ghost? Good day, ma'am. Red McCraith. We spoke uh, of late. I'm the banisher. Why, yes, I do remember. You're the kind young man, the doctor. Or was it the rat catcher? What can I do for you? Have you any family, Goody Perkins? A sister, perhaps? I don't have any relatives left. Did you have a twin sister? My memory, sir. Is lately like empty pages in the book. But I would surely remember a sister. Her memory is failing. There's something you should know. 
In the wrecked hull of a sea vessel, I found your husband's log. Husband? The very idea. I've known no husband. I'm sorry. The log cannot be right. It must belong to someone else. It, it must. Right? Yes, it must. I've known no husband, and I'll not hear otherwise. Not so sure about that. Noticed anything strange lately? Nothing stranger than usual. How about lurkers? Shadowy figures, perhaps, seen from the corner of your eye. The feeling that someone was watching you. No. Why? Well, here's the thing. I believe you may be haunted by a ghost. A ghost? Don't be silly. I have rats, maybe. I'm sure I've heard them scrabbling. But they're just rats. Change the subject. See if it helps. Did I hear you were looking for a lost key? Would you like me to help you look? Why, thank you, young man. That would be just fine. I'll bid you good day, ma'am. You take care now, Richard. Her memory seems muddled. Mm -hmm. Is this the price of getting old? Well, let's find out. don't have a house. If I had a house, I would want this for my mantle. I'll use a sextant, but I prefer a well-drawn map. It's really not that complicated. Map. Every time. Nothing interesting here. Did you feel that? It's close. I feel an echo. It's all well. I heard a noise. Worry not, madam. What about the furniture, these ways? Not here. Whale. I saw another like it on the ship. We should check out the Echo before we give her back the key. That witch put a curse upon my poor husband's boat. He lies dead in the briny deep, and she walks free! I'll not bear it, and nor should you! Your distress moves me, Mrs. Perkins. I'm very sorry for your loss. And I swear upon my honour as a servant of God, I shall not turn from the truth. You may trust me to deal with Deborah in the appropriate way. Attending that, please put the sickle down, for I fear you'll do one of us an injury. Goody Perkins was very angry. And she hated Deborah. Give her back the key and let's get out of here. Goody Perkins, here's the key. Key? What key? The key you were looking for. That key. The key. I don't know anything about a key. I don't want it. You keep it. You had a husband. Have you forgotten? 
Stop saying that. I've never married. When he died, you blamed Deborah. One of the widows from your husband's crew wrote to you. What happened? I know no Deborah. I have no husband. I know no Deborah and you, sir, are bothering me. Please leave. We'll get no more from Goody Perkins. Maybe someone at the Harrows will know something. Look, there. I do believe that's our ghost. She's leading us somewhere. Let's follow her track. I don't like ghosts that run away. Come on then, keep up. Ugh. I'm surprised. Sweet old harmless Goody Perkins was an absolute hellion. People change over time. But since her husband died at sea, why blame Deborah for it? Perhaps she believed Deborah a witch and genuinely feared her. Let's ask her ghost. Back here again. Maybe we missed something the first time. I can help. Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. How does an old ship magically become newer?
could kill a fair few whales with one of these. You're not the type. fragment of its memory. Noku hey Imaradas and twos. Mercy upon me, O oh God, according to thy loving kindness. For I have done this evil in thy sight. Hang me up before the Lord against the sun. That is fierce. Anger, be turned away. Deliver me from my blood guilt. Purge me, and I shall be clean. Tell me you understand what is going on. I would, but I don't. She killed herself out of guilt. But guilt about what? This could be a good spot to cross. There she is. I pray she stays there. No more running. What strangeness is this? Can you really be Goody Perkins? I can be Hepzibah Perkins, and I am. I know Mr. McRae. But I don't know you. I'm Antea Duarte. I need your help. I do not wish to ask for it, but I must. I have prayed for help, but God has not sent his answer. Because I do not deserve an answer. Unless the answer is you. Then God mocks me. 
But at least he answers. You're alive, yet dead. What do you want with your other self? I must warn me, her, of the danger. The gates of heaven are closed to me, and the Lord is deaf to my complaint. I've committed the greatest of all sins. I denied the life he gave me. Damnation eternal awaits us both. I must save her from herself. Your living self seems to have lost her memory. Any idea how? She has lost her memory because she is haunted. Perhaps this is why God has sent me. You remember, and she forgets. What happens if it starts to come back to her? Then she will remember, and I will forget. This is genuinely fascinating. If she remembers, I have failed. I am the keeper of her memories, her pain, her faults and her guilt. I protect her from the past to safeguard her future. You don't protect her though. You're killing her. Then she dies without adding to her sins, and I am no longer needed. We must go now. Please, save her. What now? We go back to the old lady's house and check in on her. The spot can't be far. Try to find a way across. I'm on it. This case is beyond me. How about you? Charles once told me about a time-traveling ghost. I didn't believe him. Kronos. God of time. This has something to do with the ship. Well, obviously. Exactly what I was thinking. The Nightmare likes to play with time. No more nights and winter never ending. This may be some sophisticated punishment for Hepzibah. I don't think she's home. Goody Perkins! Look, the rock. There's an echo here. 
I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. Come on! Won't someone do something? All right, I'll start then. Cowards, you all! We welcomed you, and this is how you reward us! Confess now, woman! Confess the names of your accomplice witches! Or be sent back to the rotten hell you worship! Damn it. Wish we hadn't seen that. But we have seen it. Now we know. How bad is it? She remembers. And soon shall I die. This mistake. How do we stop you, or her, from making it? Talk to her. She remembers. The curse will be repeated. Her memory returns and she remembers the stone. She remembers the day. The day she killed. The day she killed Deborah. The memory of that sin, of her blood guilt, will drive her to another sin, yet worse. I must be stopped. We must go now. Please, don't let her do it. Save me from the sin I'll soon commit. Mrs. Perkins, are you all right? I have a weight upon me. The stone. The stone. May God forgive me. What have I done? I remember now. I remember everything. Aye, and I can tell you're upset. It's a lot to take in. Unfortunately, there's more. There's a lot more. The ghost that haunts you is you. It's hoping to stop you doing something that you'll regret. My ghost! Is this why sadness hangs heavy on my poor heart? Is this how I feel my guilt? You must live. Please, believe me. The alternative is far, far worse. I know. But what if that's what I deserve? You're a good soul, sir, and a man of action. Help me. Spare me my misery. I beg you, end it. End it now. We're banishers. We end hauntings. That's all we do. I'm a banisher, ma'am, and I'll gladly deal with your ghost. But that's all I can do. Mrs. Perkins, it's time. You heard. Show yourself. You, the ghost of Goody Hepzibah Perkins, have suffered enough. Time to leave your past behind you. Time to go. No, you don't understand. It will happen again. God will call me to return. The history of tomorrow stands unwritten. Your presence has swayed her. As you, the ghost, leaves, 
a new path opens for the living Hepzibah. Perhaps now she shall choose differently. What if you were wrong? What if my peace is but brief? What if... What if... What if you were right? Oh... You may go. Is this my future? Is this my punishment? <laughs> <laughs>